Sponges damp and to clean your tap with. So then I've <coughs> got a toothbrush here that's going to clean the bits with. I'm not just going to sit here and clean my teeth, don't you worry. Um, and then I've got some tap conditioner, and this is Cardane Martin one. Bel Belvoir? Smells like good old Belvoir. Bel good old fashioned. I actually tap. got that when I started riding. It's probably mouldy. That's because it reminded me. Oh, it needs a bit. Look, there's a top. And it reminded me of what tap can you used to smell. Oh, it's even got my name on it. How sad is that? Well, it's really mouldy. Mm, that smells good. Then I've got the one I normally use every day, and it is a. Good luck pronouncing that. <laughs> it's a leather soap. So <laughs> it's actually Steuben's. And this is the make. <laughs> Steuben one. I, I'm not sure I pronounce that. Actually, I'm going to try. Glorizenian leather soap. So it just, oh, the sponge in here. It just looks like that inside, and then this is just a bar. So voila! Then we've got, oh, then we've got some sponges here that we're going to use. I've also got some fancy horse-shaped ones. I didn't do the horse ones, no. And um, what else have we got? Oh, oh and tack. some tack. Because what else am I going to clean? A bucket or something? Yeah. Also, you'll need your phone. Oh, don't my phone over a bucket, that won't be good. <laughs> you need your phone because I always take pictures of where like the nose band is and what hole it's on and stuff, so you don't forget. There we go. Um, so Millie's bridle, the attachments is actually like a buckle. Don't know if you can see that, but it's like a buckle. On the cheek so pieces. So on the cheek the pieces and, no, these are the reins. On the reins. Onto the bit, so it's slightly different to the normal buckle, so just put it out there, that's why it looks a little bit different on the video. So we're just going to put the bits in the bucket. So, so I'm just going to detach every little part of the bridle, which is a bit nerve-wracking doing because you always panic thinking you don't know how to put it back together, but it will be alright. So my mum is doing Foxy's bridal and I'm doing Millie's here. So I've already cleaned her flash fan, I've just put it on this bit of kitchen roll, including, well, no, not including, with the bits. And um, so I'm just going to carry on. So you've on. soaked it, you, you've soaked it or you conditioning it? Or I'm you're... soaking it at the moment. Clean it, so, clean yeah. it before yeah. you condition it. Yes. So firstly, I'd just like to say, normally when, sorry, <laughs> Normally when I clean my tap, I do not clean the rubber reins with some soap because sometimes it can make them a bit slippy and we do not want that guys. 
when your horse takes off across the school. That is not what you want. You do not want slippy reins. I also pay a lot of attention to the buckles because that's where all the gunk and yucky dirt gets inside and you can't really normally clean the buckles if you're just doing it after you've ridden. I always make sure that my sponge is really clean at all times because when you really get to a dirty part, you don't really want to be transferring that onto the other leather. Also, I don't know if you've seen, but on, oh, there's a keeper there. On some of my um, bridles and saddles and stuff, there's a little tag. I'll do a close up now. I'm just doing Foxy's reins. Now we've just literally plain water on the rubber reins. Sometimes you have to really work in between the pimples to get the sweat. Disgusting. So I'm just about to get to the reins. I've just cleaned my sponge, so it's just water now. Um, so to just do the rubber parts. Ah, so there we go, I've finished now. So I'm just gonna go back over. Oh, my legs are really aching. Is it my legs aching sitting down? Not because I'm sat like this, no. I can't sit up right though. I can't because I'm limp back. Is that since your riding accidents? No, it's since my back issue. <laughs> Dr. Google. So now we're going to use the tack conditioner. So some people might not actually bother to do the two steps, but I do quite like doing the two steps, I have to say. So we just that use it as a bar of soap, basically. There you go, putting this conditioner on the um, sponge. Just keeps a little supple, fits it. <laughs> I have to say, don't you just love clean tack? Yes. It's so good. So you just wipe this over it basically. <laughs> That's not the one for this. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> This is now the clean bridle laid out as we have. We've got the brow band, the bit, the cheek pieces, the nose band, the head piece and the throat lash and the reins. I have to pull back and secure and there we go. First cheek piece attached to the bit. Secondly, we do the another cheek piece, you thread it through. It Second step is putting the brow band onto the headpiece. Um, this is a different type of um, headpiece because the nose band threads under this headpiece, so that's why there's only two shafts, not three. Do it so, facing you so that you know which way the brow band's got to go on. Okay. Because this is quite. So I always check. I don't know how you do it, Lil, but I always check. that's how it should go on. Yeah. But it has to go on the opposite. Does you have to do it upside down? Because then when you thread it over, it goes correct, doesn't it? So you do it upside down. Look, if you do it upside down. So you hold the brow band where it should be, and then you flip it, thread it through the right side, round to the left, and then look what we have. We have a normal brow band. Woohoo! There we go. So now we're going to thread the nose band through the headpiece as so. So it goes under the brow band like that, over the, under the headpiece actually, and then through to the other side, like so. And then it doesn't really matter about the nose band being equal until we've attached everything. So do up the nose band. Do up the nose band to where it was. Be sure to put all the keepers in place because it will make your OCD much better. <laughs> Attach the cheek pieces. Check your phone. Check your phone for your pictures, but I know off by heart, so don't worry. We're just attaching the flash, which goes through the nose band. Not all horses have a flash, so you might not have a flash in your bridle. So it just threads through. And finally, we're gonna attach the reins, which is very important because I don't think you would want to ride without reins. Then attach the other side. As you can see, this is our bridle all put back together. Um, when I put my bridles back in the tack room, I do like to put them and sort of neaten them up. So what I do is get the throat lash and thread it through the reins as so, and attach the throat lash back up. 
like that. And then I get the nose band on the outside of the bit and attach it back. So like this, just thread it through. And then the flash just threads to the end and then it wraps around the reins. It's quite confusing to do it like this. Wraps around the reins like I this. I hold it. Mm -hmm. Okay. It wraps around the reins like so. And then it can, oh, oh where's the hold on? Right. It can go back in the chat room looking neat and tidy. Hey guys, sorry I've got this on my face. I'm currently out and thought I need to edit my video. Started editing it and I've lost the end to the video. I've been trying to make my videos really, really professional and now that's just been ruined. So sorry about that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sure it's a little bit confusing as of all my videos, but yes, enjoy and I'll see you next week with a much better video, trust me. Bye.